What is up guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Dan and this is Resto Car. So behind me I have a 1971 Camaro RSSS. This car has been with me for about seven or eight years. I bought this car uh, with the hopes to actually have it restored by now, but obviously that hasn't happened. And I'm sure a lot of you are in the same position that I am. You buy one of these cars, you tear it down, you let it sit for a while, work on it here and there. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, but it's, it's time for me to get this one done. So I started this channel to share that progress with you guys. And also, once we get this one done, pick up more builds and just keep going. In this video, I'm just going to give you a quick run through of the car. Show you some of the work that's already been done on it by myself. And... Uh, talk a little bit about it and some of the plans with the car. All right, so let's start in the rear of the car and we will work our way around. So the car needed new quarter panels. The one of them had a, I believe it had some dents in it and they replaced this section down. So I wanted new quarters, full quarters, and of course the wheel arches were rusted out. So the outer wheelhouses were replaced. Um, let's walk around to the rear. So a new tail panel was put on the car and also an inner tail panel was put on the car. This tail panel, I'm not too happy with it. I didn't really think about it when I put it on, but you can see how crooked it is compared to the deck lid. So I do plan on doing something with this to straighten that out. I may just have to cut it across the top and weld a piece in. I'm not sure. On the other side, I'm a little hesitant to mess with it because it may never look like this again and it may not look the way I want it. Uh, let me know if you guys have dealt with anything like this. I know they were like this from the factory a bit, so I'm not like too concerned about it. But it is definitely something on my list to take a look at. Now inside the trunk, everything is original in here except for the, cor the corners. You can see where those brackets are. I cut out those corners and put new ones in and did my best to make them look like factory. And then welded the bumper braces back on top of them. And then I also replaced the drop-off panels for the trunk. So both sides, the corner and the drop-off panel. And same thing over here on the driver's side. Replace the corner along with the trunk drop-off panel. So that's, that's sort of it for the trunk area. Nothing too exciting in here. The deck lid, the deck lid is a replacement panel. I ordered a few GM panels on eBay, but every one of them came with like hidden rust in the seams and stuff like that. And finally I had enough and said that I'm just going to use this replacement one I bought. I was really trying to keep it GM, but, uh, I couldn't find a good one. So the next thing up here, this uh, panel was replaced and obviously it's not down yet. So I'm going to have to do my, my issue with this one is that this is my second one that I bought uh, as a, as a re, uh, reproduction panel and it just doesn't fit that good either. So uh, we'll have to work with it and see, may have to cut it here and there and weld it back up, but uh, we'll get it uh, next. This side, this quarter panel was replaced. Again, full quarter. And so was the outer wheelhouse. All right, so working to the middle section of the car, this rocker panel is, is factory. Did not replace that, did not need to. All of that's good. New fenders, again, we'll probably have fitment issues with those, but that's all right, we'll work through that. Uh, up here, we put a new cowl panel on. The other one was rusted. It actually, if I would have to guess, this car was sitting under trees or something because the, the roof uh, 
sheet metal around the window was was rotted out and also this cow panel was pretty well gone so <clears throat> so replaced the cow panel again got to clean up all the welds working our way around to the front the radiator support is a reproduction panel the other one was uh had, had rust holes again through it um, a lot of this these brackets on the front are factory we just moved them from the old panel to the new one over to the driver's side front again reproduction fender that is going to need to be fitted and all that fun stuff so then to the rocker panel on this side it's I, I replaced this panel and the other one it actually wasn't due to rust it looked like the whoever had it before me drove over a rock or something I mean it just had a dent in it about the length of the panel and I tried pulling it out with a uh, stud gun and I just couldn't get it to budge so I ended up cutting it out and uh, putting a full new rocker panel in on this side uh, one thing again we got to clean up some welds on this uh, this area down here needs cleaned up yet I don't know how they did it from the factory with the tab that was on the inside of these quarter panels so I ended up cutting that off just just because you you can't I couldn't find a way to get in there to actually weld that tab down to the top of the rocker so in this case uh, just welded across the bottom here and I'm hoping that's good enough um, let me know what you think if not we can find some other way to do this I'm just I don't want it to crack in the future and then of course we got to clean up this area here so jump to the front real quick I will do drivetrain last let's say that for last all right so in the interior it's pretty well gutted at this point the rear is pretty good pretty solid uh, so it's it's pretty much ready to go as far as getting it cleaned up and painted the middle sections of the floor are really good no issues there and you can see that I have Detroit speed subframe connectors in this car that was one of the one of the last things that I put in before I stopped working on it for a while in the front I replaced that section of the floor pan and it wasn't many holes in it it was just soft like it had a bounce to it and I'm going to replace this the driver's side too for the same reason let me see if I can show you what I mean so if you see this here I don't know I, I just there's pinholes in it it's soft It could probably be repaired there's, there's those holes but um, I don't know I don't want people to get in the car and feel any kind of any kind of sponginess in the floors so that wouldn't be cool so I'm going to order a panel for this and cut this out and replace it and once that's done that's pretty much one of the last pieces of metal that's actually getting cut out of this car and replaced so the car's had a the car has had a lot of metal work done to it, uh, and I'm glad that's over. It's a, it is a lot of work, and it's something that if you are buying a project that you would want to consider, um, definitely consider that. It is, in my opinion, worth it to buy a car that has good sheet metal. All right. So let's jump over to the front. So here's the power plant for, for this car. This is a 98 LS1. And I emphasize the 98 because um, those of you that are familiar with these engines will know that the 98 is probably the least desirable of the years. Um, one because the computer's different and two I think there's a little bit of a design difference in the internals the reason I, I sort of uh, jumped the gun on this because it was local I don't have a lot of these around my area so when I saw it come up and I was calling around to local uh, cell or scrap yards and things I, uh, someone had this 
I just jumped on it, picked it up, and here it is. So the way I see it is it'll help me get this car finished and when it runs and then if something happens to it after the fact, well then we'll have a reason to put in something better. As far as the computer goes on this car, it's not gonna matter because I bought a PSI uh, wiring harness and a uh, uh, PCM with, with that. So I may just have to change a few of the components on the engine to support the, the plug styles if, if they changed at all. I will be running a, probably a vintage air kit. So we have a pretty small compressor uh, smallest one I found. It fits fits snugly, put it that way. Um, may have to clearance something, but right now it looks okay. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to look at that. Uh, over here, we're go, we are going to notch out the subframe to better fit the alternator. I know they make relocation kits and everything, but I just don't want it up top. I think it looks cleaner down below where it is. So we'll notch that section out just so it doesn't it doesn't touch right now, but we're gonna notch a little bit out just again to account for vibrations and stuff. And we may have to do something similar with the AC compressor. All right, so there is the front end. So we're going to jump down underneath the car. So the car has some kind of aftermarket suspension on it. It's got a pretty hefty sway bar up front. I have no idea what brand or anything like that. It was on the car, but it looks like it has polyurethane bushings and stuff like that on it already. Um, probably replace it anyway because I plan on buying some kind of complete kit for the car. So if we move around to the side, we'll get a view underneath here. T56, six speed. Supposedly it has a, uh, that's like some kind of stage two rebuild kit in it. I have no idea. The thing's supposed to be rebuilt. I bought it online from, uh, from a user. I think it was on LS1 Tech or something. So we'll see. So I made a, custom cover for this in the transmission tunnel area. I would have loved to have remade the whole transmission tunnel like I see on the Detroit Speed Engineering cars on their project pages. But uh, I'm not sure, I don't have the, the right tools for that. I don't have an English wheel or anything like that. So I'm not sure if it could be made without that stuff, maybe. Uh, but for now I've made this and I so I took this idea off of one of the products that are sold online that are similar to this but I just basically made it custom to my application and we'll have to figure out what to do here and get all that fitted right but for now it looks good I just wanted to make sure if I ever need to service the shifter um, that I can pull all of that out of there and I can with this setup here the other thing I made sure of is that the factory console will sit on top of all this. So we're good. It does. Um, let's go back under here. So you can see the Detroit Speed subframe connectors. I uh, left them disconnected for now just because I got to pull the subframe off and clean up the subframe. And then I also have to clean up the underside of the car. So the underside of the car is pretty solid. Nothing, uh, nothing really to worry about under there. Everything looks good. I think it'll clean up pretty nice. Uh, the, the other modification I made to this car was the, uh, I cut out the seat belt humps that are in here and I just, I basically just flattened them out so that I can fit a wider tire. So I don't know how well you can see in there, but um, those there there used to be a hump in here that accounted for the seatbelt, and if you want to go wider tire, you got to get rid of that. So I don't want to go with the wide wheel tubs. I mean, they would be cool if it was just me, but I have a wife and two kids, and I uh, want to make sure we can all fit in the car. So 
that'll be good. And um, this this car in particular, I don't think it's going to be an issue with that hump removed from there. The seatbelt still bolts in there. These are not like retractable belts or anything like that. So should be good. If not, if I find out that it's not, I'll just move this or or do whatever. Um, there's the rear of the car. Looks like somebody hacked something out of there. Not sure why. Same up there with the speakers. We'll have to fix all that. And the roof. There's the roof. It's got some type of Krager wheel on it that they're not really good. They're rusted and all that good stuff. I might get them blasted and painted for now just until we can save up some cash for some really nice wheels. So the roof skin was replaced. Uh, I replaced it uh, mainly because of rust in the channel area and the front and rear of the car. Again, it looked like it sat under a tree just the way it was rusted out there. And also it had some rust sort of up in this area. So just cut the old one off, put a new skin on. The inner structure was great. And the new skins do not come with the full, the full piece here. So I basically put the new skin on and then I found these on Nasty Z28. I got these off of someone on nastyz28.com and uh, put these pieces on. But as far as, I mean, this looks a little bit like pitted here, but everything in here was really good. I didn't have to replace anything in here. And, and I did clean that out and spray it down with epoxy primer and all that stuff. And then over here, same sort of thing, replaced the A-pillar skin, not the structure. I didn't have to do any work with the structure. It's all really good. Again, just a little pitted on the outside where you can see that here, but, uh, but uh, overall in good shape. So here's the rear end. There's nothing really special here that I can tell. I've never taken the diff cover off, so I don't even know what's in it, but I don't think it's a posi or anything like that. As far as suspension goes, I don't know what this is. I don't know if the leaf springs are anything special. I don't know anything about it. Uh, again, under the trunk area, you can see. And this, this car was factory white, although I don't think this is original paint. I think somebody sprayed over it. Um, but uh, yeah, so. Again, more welds to clean up. All around, so. All right guys, so there you have it. That's the first project car on Resto Car. It's, it's new to you, old to me, but we're gonna get it done together. And uh, I'm excited to see your projects. So if you got projects, if you got your own channels, if you got links uh, to, to blogs or posts or something, put them down in the comments below so that uh, we can all see them. And uh, you know, let's keep each other motivated on this. You know, ping me if uh, you don't see any progress or anything. Uh, I hope that's not the case, but if it is, you know, let me know. Ping me, and uh, and uh, I'll do the same once I get to meet some of you. So uh, put down in the comments anything, uh, anything about the car, good, bad, whatever, and uh, I'll check it out. And uh, hit that like button and hit the bell for notifications so that you can stay up to date. We're gonna keep this series going. And in between working on this, I'll have different types of videos, like tools, different tips, tricks, whatever, you know, all that kind of stuff for us weekend warriors out there. So hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.